I've been planning this video for some time. I have managed to collect every single 22LR long and short offering from CCI that they manufacture uh, as of 2018, except for one, and that's pretty much because it's California exclusive. At least I can never find it out here, but we'll discuss that. So let me pull one of each of these out and we'll get started. All right, there we go. That took a minute. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start in the back here, which is going to be um, your anything from uh, subsonic up to your traditional high velocity, which is what uh, most people will be using most of the time. In the middle here, I got the longs and, and shorts. And then around the front here, I got the more uh, specialty rounds and hyper velocity stuff. So I'll try not to ramble too much and get through these and I'll show you each bullet up close real quick. So starting off, there's their subsonic. As far as I know and as far as their website uh, leads me to believe, they only make it in hollow point. Um, it's a 40 grain hollow point, 1050 feet per second. And now all these velocities are going to be out of a rifle, by the way. Every single one of these listed velocities, that's the velocity for a rifle. You will have a loss of velocity through a pistol. So there's your subsonic hollow point. Okay, then it steps up a little to standard velocity. There's almost no perceptible noise difference between these, but uh, standard velocity, 1,070 feet per second, 40 grain. Lead round nose. Then they have the green tag, which is basically, it's, it's identical to the standard velocity, but the uh, the lots, the velocity, the standard deviation from one bullet to the next, from one pack to the next, is supposed to be more consistent, therefore giving you more accuracy. Uh, some people don't notice any difference in accuracy at all, and some people swear by this stuff. So it costs more, it's the exact same load as the standard velocity, but it's supposed to be consistently more accurate because of more consistent velocities and then you have the select uh, basically all three of these are the same 40 grain lead round nose the only difference with the select is a slightly higher velocity uh, it's supposed to give you the accuracy of these green tags but uh, with reliable cycling and semi-automatic weapons whereas you might have feed problems with the green tag or standard velocity out of a semi-auto. You should not with the select because they're uh, just a little bit hotter. May not be as accurate though. So then you got your AR tactical pack. It's basically the same bullet as that. 1200 feet per second. But it's copper plated so that it cycles more smoothly in your uh, AR type platform rifle then they got the mini mag i grew up shooting these things all the time it was my go-to high velocity round because they're much more consistent and more accurate than most of your bulk packs out there so they offer in three versions um they're all copper plated you got your you know uh, round nose is 1235 feet a second 40 grain then you got a 36 grain hollow point, which is 1260 feet per second. And I'm not sure when these came out, either last year or this year. These are fairly new. Uh, they finally made the mini mag in a segmenting hollow point, 1235. <sighs> And as you can see, it's supposed to split into three different fragments when you hit a target. Um, CCI now offers four different segmenting bullets, and I will get to that in a moment. All right, on to the shorts and longs. We'll start off slower to faster. So here's your old school CB shorts, CB longs. Basically identical other than the shell length, 29 grain lead round nose or whatever you want to call it there 710 feet a second the reason well besides trying to collect everything they have um, there's a possibility that even though 
the performance is identical and the bullet is identical. Actually, those might be slightly different. Look pretty damn close though. Um, there's a chance that the CB longs may be quieter because of the longer shell. I forget the exact scientific breakdown, but I'm going to be testing that later to see if the longs are quieter than the shorts, even with the same performance. <clears throat> then you got your target short here, which is exactly the same, 29 grain, but it's 830 feet a second. Now, when I first read this target, I'm assuming that means more accurate, which it may, um, but I was also reading that the slightly higher velocity, um, it's to aid in, apparently there's some old semi-automatic uh, 22 short pistols, so the slightly higher velocity will ensure that they will cycle reliably through a semi-automatic. Hopefully they're more accurate too. Definitely going to test that also, see if they're more accurate. Okay. Now, I also grew up shooting these things. Uh, these are high velocity shorts. Now, I always used the hollow point over the round nose. But uh, you got a 29 grain round nose there, 1,080 feet a second. And then the hollow point version is a little lighter. It's 27 grains, so you get a little bit faster, 1, 000, uh, 1,105 feet per second. I, mean, I used to use those things for anything inside a hundred yards. They actually shoot really well. They hit squirrels really hard. It's great little round. Those are hard to find. I managed to grab some. First time I've had any in my hands in like 10 years or more. And then they have the uh, high velocity 22 long. It's 1,215 feet per second. So it's almost the same velocity as the freaking mini mags. But it's which, uh, with a much lighter bullet, 29 grain. So I'm thinking that means that you would get the high velocity of a standard 22 LR, but it'd be a little quieter maybe. I don't know. We'll test it out and see. All right, here's the more hyper velocity rounds and the special stuff. So I guess we'll just start here with the shot cell. A lot of you guys have probably seen that. I've already made a video shooting those. You got a little itty bitty number 12 bird shot in there. Um, it's good for a maximum of maybe 10 yards, really 5 or 6 is better, 1,000 feet a second. These are one of my favorites, the CCI Quiets, because they're really quiet, but you're still pushing a big 40 grain bullet out of there, 710 feet a second. So even though they're extremely quiet, they still hit pretty hard, especially compared to a pellet gun. They have much more energy than a pellet gun. Um... Here's their suppressor round. These are designed for anything with a suppressor on it. Uh, the work optimally, giving you, you know, uh, as quiet operation as possible and accuracy. Nice uh, 45 grain hollow point. So it'll give you more energy than your standard 40 grain or will. And because of the low velocity on these, I wanted to try these out and compare them to other quiet things like that and see how quiet they are in comparison because you're going to give you more energy down range especially with the higher velocity if they're not much louder um, I think it's going to be quite a bit louder than that but it with the velocity listed it's going to be on par with a noise level of a subsonic maybe a little less but see it's five grains heavier so maybe more downrange energy. This is a small game bullet. I grabbed this a couple years ago. This has more of a flat nose tip. So while it, if you say you're shooting squirrels with it, it's not going to blow it up like a hollow point will, but it gives you a little more punch with that flat tip than a standard round nose does. 1,235 feet a second, 40 grain. This is probably my all-time favorite, the Velocitor. This is a 40 grain hollow point, 1,435 feet a second. It was the fastest uh, 40 grain you can get out there, and it's still one of the fastest. I think there's a couple brands now that make a competition of this. Uh, I preferred that over the Stinger. Now, the Stinger is a lot faster, but it's also because it has a much lighter bullet. You got a 32 grain hollow point, 1,640 feet a second. But... Uh, 
From my experience, the Velociter is more accurate than the Stinger and beyond 100 yards because the Stinger is such a light bullet, it slows down really quick. Beyond 100 yards, the Velociter hits harder than the Stinger does, but the Stinger definitely hits harder within 100 yards. And these are relatively new, just came out a couple years ago or so. Uh, CCI Copper, it's a green bullet. As you can see, it's lead-free. Basically, itty-bitty little copper particles glued together, pressed together to form a bullet. This is the fastest round you can get right now because it's so light. It's only 21 grains because there's no lead in it. 1,850 feet a second. These do more damage within 50 yards than the Stinger because they're so fast, but they very quickly lose uh, speed and energy beyond that and uh, they're not too terribly accurate either I mean they're not horribly inaccurate but beyond 50 yards not so good um, that's the one the one that I could not get is they they offer uh, now let's see what it's called okay it's called the SRG which stands for short range green um, they are, it's the exact same thing, but it's only 1,650 feet a second. And, uh, I guess they're popular out in California where you, you're not allowed to have, uh, lead in indoor ranges or hunting or something like that. I don't know. We're in Ohio, so I'm not real familiar with their laws, but that is the only thing I could not get my hands on. It's called the uh, SRG short range green because it's a lead free bullet. It's 21 grain also. It's the exact same thing. It's just not quite as much gunpowder. Okay, then over here is the remainder of the segmented offerings. These are really hard to find. Um, there is a it's the CCI Quiet, but it's segmented, forty grain segmented. So it it breaks into three uh, pieces when it hits its target, seven hundred ten feet a second. So it gives you the exact same performance of the CCI Quiet, but you have a segmenting bullet. So it'll do much more damage to small game or whatever else you're shooting it with. The CCI Quiet just passes right through. And while it offers a lot more energy than a pellet gun, um, compared to standard rounds, it's real low on power. But with the segmented hollow point here, they hit pretty hard even though they're going really slow and are really quiet. So that's really nice and also uh, the quiets have a tendency to ricochet really bad because they're not going that fast so they bounce off the ground instead of embedding themselves and I'm uh, but I'm betting that this one with the segment and hollow point when it hits the ground it's going to break up so you shouldn't have as many ricochets and then now they offer the uh, subsonic rounds with a segmented bullet 40 grain 1050 feet a second so these are on par with your subsonic rounds but now you can get a segmenting hollow point with it and then these are basically uh, these used to be called quick shock now they just call them segmented hollow point as you can see though 1640 feet a second 32 grain it's basically a stinger but it's got the segmenting hollow point in it okay then like i said they finally started offering the mini mag and the segmenting hollow point so all those basically that's what they do I have a few vid videos on my channel testing some of these out. Um, all of this ammo we're going to be testing out uh, over the next year. So stay tuned for that. So like I said guys, uh, everything here we're going to be testing out over the next year or so. Um, I do plan very shortly after this video, hopefully within a week, I'm going to take every single one of these out and go demonstrate every single one out of a pistol and a rifle uh, everything you see here we're gonna shoot some cans filled with water and I'm thinking some apples and then try to get some slow motion footage also so I'll take every single round you see here and put it through a rifle and a pistol upcoming very shortly thanks for watching guys and if you like this video please leave me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends both of those things really help out the channel and also if you're not already please subscribe and stay tuned for the uh, firing of these. <laughs> By the way, CCI, you're welcome. Please give me free ammo or a job.